story. The Utah Jazz are hitting the court tonight for their first playoff game. We're all excited about this one. And today we're joined by Hans Olsen, host of the Midday Show on 1280 The Zone and 97.5 FM. You can also catch him 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on weekdays. Right now, though, we're here to talk about the Jazz and their playoff run. Thank you for joining us this morning, Hans. Amy, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. And hey, we're talking, of course, Jazz playoff here. Now, Hans, we didn't know who we were going to play. Of course, this play-in situation, we thought, oh, the Lakers. We didn't want that. And then we thought, okay, it's probably going to be the Warriors. No one thought the Grizzlies. Why should Jazz fans be so excited for this first-round playoff situation? First of all, you know, you went 0-3 through the regular season against the Grizzlies, and I think the Jazz matched up really well against them. Um, but that's why we play these games, right? These playoffs, they just boost. They ramp up. The physicality ramps up. You guys watched Memphis against Golden State the other night. You watch the energy that they play with. John Morant is, he is unbelievable. Morant will absolutely score from every direction. Jonas Valanciunas is a fantastic big. And it's actually an exciting matchup. A, a lot of great defense and the Jazz are still going to have a lot of work to do in this series. Well, we talk about how the Memphis Grizzlies have been beaten three times in the regular season by the Jazz, but that's when all of our players were doing so well. Donovan, we're hoping, is a big factor in this and hopefully back for the playoff run. Well, we had an opportunity to hear from him on Friday, and, Amy, it was really nice to hear Donovan, from his own words, say that's the goal is to play in game one. So... We're all expecting to see Donovan Mitchell back on the court. You hope that his lungs and his wind is there, that he can get up and down the court and he can play with the physicality that he typically plays with. You remember, he's off the court most of the game. He is a high-flying individual, and he needs a lot of spring out of those ankles and that one ankle in particular that was injured. So fingers crossed that he's back. But from his own words, he said that is the goal to play in game one. Now, last night, maybe a bad sign for the Jazz in the Western Conference. The two road teams uh, won their games, uh, their game one last night. So looking at the Western Conference bracket, is this as wide open as it has ever been when the Lakers are the number seven seed? I mean, it's a very tough bracket. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the Lakers. We'll see how healthy LeBron can stay. But, you know, the Lakers obviously would be the favorite out of the West. Uh, they, they could do a lot of damage, and, and Anthony Davis is a nightmare down low. So the Lakers are probably the favorite, but they're dealing with their own injuries, and they're dealing with their own situations. But, yeah, John, you saw how quick you lose that home game or that home court advantage. It just takes one home loss with home court advantage to lose home court advantage. And the Jazz cannot allow that tonight in game one. Jazz have to come out. They've got to match the physicality. I promise you guys, everybody who's going to be watching this game, I promise you, Memphis has nothing to lose. They're coming out. They feel like they just played into a playoff and they have nothing to lose. So they are going to come out and put their hearts on the line and play tough and play physical and try to get home court back to Memphis. And the Jazz have to make sure that doesn't happen. Should be an exciting matchup tonight. We'll all be watching. Hans Olsen, thanks so much for joining us this morning. What a treat. It's a treat for me. I love it. Watch you guys every single morning. You guys are incredible. Shout out to Big Buddha. He's my man. Love you guys. <laughs> thanks so much. And don't forget the Jazz play tonight at 730 at the Vivint Arena, a home game to kick off the playoffs. Breck, John, I know we're all excited about it tonight. <laughs> it's just so much energy. It feels like it's the late 90s when, of course, we had those championship runs. But it just it, there's a new renewed energy here and a focus for the playoffs. And tonight could could set the stage for what is hopefully maybe 16 more wins here in the playoffs. <laughs> I know, that's all we need, right? That's all, that's all it takes. 16 all right, more. <laughs> here we go. Meantime, today's playoff game.